Well, hello there, person. Let's take a look at what's new in Wraithbinder. Man, uh, oh, this leaps and strides this game has taken in the last two weeks is... It's a... It's so... It's so much more fun to play. Um, the whole concept was you have all these abilities that you can you can get in this game, right? Right now, all I have is the fist ability. Um, but when you level up, um, you can unlock abilities. So now I'm going to unlock the sword ability. I've got one pip or one ability point put into the sword. You can see in the top left, underneath the sword icon, it tells me what button I could press and also how many pips are in it. So I got one pip there. Um, you can see that I'm hitting these these blocks and I'm now doing minus or I'm doing four damage. Um, and if I were to upgrade again the uh, sword ability um, to pip number two, now I'm doing six damage on these pillars here. And when I first started and I just had the fist and I hadn't even gotten the sword yet, I was only doing two damage. Um, so there's just a progression to every ability, and and then you can start unlocking other abilities too, like. What do you want to want this time? Boots or the bow? We can unlock the boots, and now we can run around and use matter points. Um, we can, let's level up again. And here's the bow. Bow weapon can target and do a whole bunch of other stuff. And as you as you add more pips to this thing, it fires faster and also does more damage. Whoops. Um, and then yeah, you get all the other abilities like shield and whatnot. So the reason it's so much more fun to play Wraithbinder now, as opposed to what it was two weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago I had this concept that all of your upgrading of abilities and items would happen outside the match. You would earn all these credits and experience, then you would fly back to your ship and spend your stuff to unlock more abilities and then go play another match. But that just wasn't that fun. Um, it wasn't fun at all, really, to be like, oh, okay, I gotta wait to go use that, and then you weren't really getting this whole progression going on in the inside the match. So now, gosh, with abilities being unlocked um, during the match, this game is just more fun to play. So um, let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna exit out here. I'm gonna allow playing with some some bots, and let's see. Let's just play a, a demo here. Let's just run through the game a little bit and see how it's playing. So here we go. Um, starting off with just the fist ability. Um, this gives you a lot of experience points hitting a switch. You also get experience for hitting these pillars. To that actually gains you some matter and also a little bit of experience. But you gain a lot more experience for fighting these little creep guys. So doing damage to these creep guys and also killing them gives you a lot more um, exp. So I'm almost about to level up here. Let's kill this little guy. Oh, that guy got the kill. Oh, looks like this player over here has already got their switch. Ooh, there he is. Ooh. There's also a thing now where um, if two melee attacks hit each other at the same time, then you bounce off of each other. That's what's happening here. I keep bouncing off and falling on the ground. Um, I need to work on the, the knockbacks though. There's a lot of glitches and stuff like that But one of the glitches is that the knockbacks sometimes don't work So you noticed right there when I was fighting that other player um, The knockback was working for me. I fell off the edge a lot, but he didn't so uh, what's going on here. This is see lots of glitches, but Ooh, Whoa, see, that was another weird glitch with getting knocked back. I'm still only level two If I steal this base, I should get a bunch of experience. Okay, this guy's getting close to dead. Oh, I can get, um, bow. Oh, shoot. Get attacked from the behind here. <laughs> ah! Oh, this guy's on my team. Wait, no, that guy wasn't on my team. He looked like he was on my team. Oh, that's green. Okay, so my color is blue. Oh, no wonder the col colors are super close. Oh, I'm almost dead. If I can run away and get back to my base, I can heal. Oh, here we go. Should have got boots last time. The AI is smart enough to run back to its base as well, so if it's getting hurt, um, it'll do that. And you can tell the AI are a little bit smarter than 
they used to be with ranged weapons, so they can actually stand at a ranged distance and throw their ranged, ranged weapon. You actually do a bunch of damage when you level up, too. So I just leveled up to level 4, and that, that whole, like, thing that happens with the animation and you flying up into the air. What's going on with these guys? There's, the AI kind of messed up there, and it became really dumb for a second. Some of the ranged weapons are going to be a lot better than each other, than the others. Oops. Crashed it. Yeah, so um, so going back to the whole level progression thing, you get you could tell from playing right there that there was a lot of progression happening right there in the match, which makes it a lot more fun for brand new players that have never got any items and have never gone back to their ship and upgraded. Uh, but now you still have the you still have the ability to upgrade your items outside of the match. So you can, for example, you can you start with, for example, like the bow weapon, which is kind of like you know a beginner's weapon. It's it's it can target. It does a immediate tiny amount of damage. It doesn't have to use matter points. Simple. Um, but then you could get different range weapons. Like you could, that you could sell that one of the enemies there had a a boomerang. Um, and a boomerang can be a lot more useful because the boomerang can pick up matter points by hitting things. Um, and then there's going to be a gun weapon and a go sword and a whole bunch of other other like ranged weapons. And then there's three different kinds of um, Let's give me a different mobility item. Right now I had boots that, that time. Let's do, instead of boots, let's do levitate. That's one of my favorites. Okay, so yeah. And um, for example, you could have a different weapon. If I, I instead of sword two, I could have um, axe one. I think axe one is a weapon. Yeah, let's see what it looks like with an axe and levitate. And so those kinds of abilities you would unlock using credits and stuff like that outside of the match on your ship you buy the item that gives you that upgrade then inside the match when you level up to the point where you can use that that ranged weapon or that mobility item or whatever um you'll unlock that instead of the the other range item you might have had before like boots and i'm thinking thinking if you have boots and you have levitate you'll be able to choose which one you're going to bring into the match before you start it. Let's see what happens this time. Let's see if I can draw this guy back to my base and while I can heal and you can fight him. Basically I'm just taking I'm using the kiting technique. Oh he ran away because he's losing some health and he's That was smart because he was fighting me in my own base, so I can heal there and it's dumb for me to try and attack him at his base right here because he can heal. But I over here, oh, it's on. You can tell when I'm hiding in these, these this grass right here, I'll be invisible to him. And when he's in the grass, I'm invisible, or he's invisible to me. But I can still tell where he is. Ooh, got upgrades here. Ooh, cool, it's showing me the axe now. Um, and of course, I, in my player's hand, I have the axe. But when I upgraded it right there, it said sword. So that's another thing I need to work on. Oh, jeez. I don't want to fight this guy. He's got a bunch of health. I'm running out of health. Oh, that's levitate. Let's get levitate. Yes. Oh. That's a really great item for running. Oh, something messed up with the levitate animation. It's not as good as it used to be. Come back here. See right there, he should be being knocked back. Yes, got the kill. It's a lot of experience for a player kill. Ooh, let's, let's upgrade, uh, whoops. Let's get more, some more sword axe going here. I haven't done the upgrades for Levitate yet. I really need to make it so maybe you can move faster when you, like, so I got one pip into it now. If I had two pips, maybe I can Levitate faster or it uses less matter points, something like that. It's really fun to be at this point where I'm adding in these upgrades. So what what's the power level for, you know, what's Levitate 1 do? What's Levitate 2 add? 
What's Levitate 3 going to be adding? Can, like, levitate around that? Yes! Levitate around that wall. Um, and then, so as you unlock more and more abilities, you get um, more advanced stuff, like... Like grenade. That's a great one. A really powerful weapon I can just throw into the mix here, into the middle of a bunch of players, and do a lot of damage. But I'm not at level... I think I get it at level 9 or level 8. Ooh! Okay, so we've got the victory happened here. Everybody converted to the same team. Am I the MVP? I think I actually won that one. And it didn't crash that whole time. Wow. Wow. Oh, MVP. All right. I'm so proud of myself for being MVP versus these bots. Look at this, look at this little creep comes up and attacks us at the end. This whole recap menu with all the, the assists and kills and stuff like that, really, I really need to do the graphics for this better. This is all weird. <laughs> this is hilarious. I love this. Oh, man. Well, so there you have it. I mean, this is just night and day more interesting to play this video game than it was two weeks ago, especially with bots. You know, maybe the way it was where you weren't having all as much progression, it might have been fun versus other players. I don't know. But this guarantees it's more fun versus even bots. So I'm thinking with actual players in here, it's going to be super interesting. And once again, as a brand new player, if you're starting off with no upgraded items, you're going to start off with like a simple bow and maybe a tiny sword or a short sword or something like that. Um, and some other weapons. But you'll still be able to get like six or eight abilities. I don't know how many abilities, but you'll be able to get, you'll be able to fill up your whole screen there with abilities if you get to a high enough level in the match. And so even the brand new player is gonna be able to have an interesting experience and be able to have lots of items they can use. Um, and then when you when you start to pr really progress in the meta game in, in actually buying cool or more interesting items, you're gonna be able to really hone your play style. You'll be like, ah, I love playing with Levitate and, or I love having the boomerang weapon or Oh, I got this sweet upgraded grenade I can get when I get to level seven, and so you'll you get a certain play style for this game, um, and I think it'll make it really interesting to be able to have that meta progression as well as this in-match progression. So exciting times! Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you with another one on the next time that I do it. All right, see ya.